Hi, this is Darren from Elo Postry and Interiors. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to poster this chair. I'll be using this type of staples, with that staple gun like this, and jute webbing, and a jute webbing stretcher. Now I'm just using an extra piece of fabric to put on top. Now I'm just cutting where the wood is and the letter V. Now I'll be using one inch firm foam in the middle area so it gives a nice crown look to it. Now I'll be using two and a half inch medium density foam. This is the type of foam glue that I'll be using. And this is the type of spray gun that I'll be using. Now I like to shave off the edge a little bit. You don't have to, but I like to do it. Now I'm using a thin layer of fiber so it gives a nice soft feel to it when it's done. This is how the fabric looks. So before I staple everything down, I like to lock a few staples first. So in my opinion, this is probably the best way to cut the back area where the wood is. You wanna make sure you have enough fabric to roll it behind the wood. Just cut enough to hide it and other than that, bring the fabric on the other side and cut what you need. As you can see, I'm cutting it just enough so I could hide the foam. So you wanna do this to the other side as well first and then flip the fabric to the other way. Now you want to make sure you're cutting in between the wood and then the letter V. Sorry, my hand was in the way of the camera so you couldn't really see much, but as you can see, I'm cutting a little bit by a little bit and then the letter V. Now you can see I have enough fabric just to roll it and hide all the foam. Now 
now that I have the important part cut where the wood is, now I'm just locking on more staples side to side. So you want to make sure you're pulling the fabric a little tighter. So in time when you do use it, it will loosen up. So I like to pull a little bit tighter as you can see so it gives it a nice crown to it. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you like the video. So I like to make sure the pattern is equally balanced from one end to the next. So I like to have it nice and puffy from the middle area going downward to the corner edge. Now I'm just finding where the center is on the frame. Now I'm using a thick piece of fabric so it gives it a nice curve to it when I do put the foam on. So you want to staple top to bottom where the curve is first, not side to side. The side should be the last part once you're done top and bottom. Now I like to glue where the edge is, where the staple is, and then I'm going to fold it. Now I'm using 2 inch soft foam for the back.
So I like to make sure the pattern is centered. So even when I'm putting the good fabric on, I'm going top and bottom first, and then I do the sides afterwards. So you want to make sure the fabric of the green is straight still, you can see like this way, and also on the seat. Now I'll be using a blade like this to cut off the extra fabric. So for the back here, I'll be using an extra lining. So when I do put the fiber on it, the quality of the chair feels a lot better when you do feel it with your hands. So this is how we sew our double welt. So the extra fabric from behind, I'll be cutting it off. So now I'll be using a hot glue gun to glue on the edge like this and then use it to glue on the chair as well.
So here's how the finished piece looks like. So thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends. Thank you. Bye.